Gregor. Harriers. Ermelinda has to be taken alive. <laughs> Such overconfidence. Have a taste of the power of science. The power of Hyperion! Harriers. Harriers. Harriers, report! Yana Fota, come in! There is no one left to respond, sister! Center! Harriers to center! That was intense, but we're fine! Proceed with the plan. You know what to do. From September 25th through October 9th, the long-awaited continuation of the Waffentrager event, codenamed Project Hyperion, will take place. You will again face the ambitious Ermelinda and her fearsome Blitztrager Alf E110, which has become even more dangerous. To defeat it, you need to deal with the Sentinels and overload the generators. There are three of them. Overloading any generator will remove the Blitztrager's shield for a short time, during which you will be able to cause real damage to it. Six overloads will remove the shield for good. Every generator that is overloaded also adds time to battle and provides all remaining Harriers with a plasma charge that boosts their damage, including damage from abilities. Harriers can accumulate up to four such charges. However, bonuses are as easy to lose as they are to get. A boosted tank is potential prey for the Blitztrager. When destroyed, it will lose all accumulated bonuses. But don't be discouraged if this happens. You can return to battle as many times as you want, but the respawn time will increase each time. You will face Ermelinda in a Harrier squad, a team of six players in special vehicles. The good old versatile resistor. It has charges and an explosive shot that splits when it hits the enemy and causes damage across a certain radius. The Thunderbolt, a menacing warrior ready to take the hit. Due to its armor and ability to restore hit points, it's an excellent helper on the front line. It can also switch to siege mode and quickly see off enemy hordes. A scout for distracting the enemy, the Fuda. It's fast, agile, and has a very dangerous autoloader. If you combine all that with its charge and ballistic dome abilities, you can quickly take the enemy's hit points and roll away without any damage to your own vehicle. Another fighter joins the mighty trio this time, the Poyiska, with a new commander, Yana. Her tank, built on the chassis of the TVP T-5051, has prominent support vehicle features. There's not much armor, but its gun commands respect. Its special abilities are a storing hit points and railgun an active ability that makes your next shot more accurate and devastating. You can learn more about how to play these vehicles and their features in a special guide on our game website. In the heat of battle, don't forget that you're a team first and foremost. While respawns let you make some mistakes and act more aggressively and independently, it's still always important to cover each other's backs. Your enemy is not just some tank made of steel and insulators. You face a work of engineering genius, whose capabilities are beyond your comprehension. The Blitztrager Alf E110. Its gun alone can eliminate any tank in a matter of a couple of shots and that's just the tip of the iceberg. The Blitztrager's arsenal also includes the EMP arrow, which doesn't even need to hit its target precisely. When it hits the area near a tank, it slows the vehicle down and makes it an easy target. If surrounded, the Blitztrager can use the EMP burst. Even cover won't save tanks from it, and anyone who gets too close will receive huge damage. The Sentinels that defend the generators are no longer completely autonomous. By pressing T, the Blitztrager can designate a target that the Sentinels will start firing at while still staying in the generator area. 
And just to keep you on your toes, the Blitztrager can teleport to almost any point on the map. But the Blitztrager's main weapon, which strikes fear into the hearts of all who challenge it, will decimate you if you stand in its path. Meet the Hyperion. This is a new weapon of mass destruction, capable of destroying any tank in mere seconds. The only defense against it is to flee its area of impact, and you have only a few seconds to do so. You should pay special attention to it when capturing a generator. If the Blitztrager can't personally win it back, it will resort to using its devastating weapon. But before the Blitztrager can fire such a damaging shot, it needs to charge it first by causing damage to Harriers. The more damage it deals, the quicker the Hyperion will charge. The Waffentrager Project Hyperion event is not only about fierce clashes with the Blitztrager, it's also an opportunity to get tons of awesome rewards. After the launch of the event, a special progression divided into stages with rewards will be available in your garage. You need to complete missions to advance through it. Mission conditions are displayed right in the progression window. The first three missions for the Harriers will be unique. You can complete them only once during the event. After these missions are complete, they will be replaced by repeating missions updated once a day. At the same time, if you start any mission but don't manage to complete it, its progress will be transferred from day to day until it's completed. Things are a little simpler with the engineer's missions. You can complete them several times during the event, and their conditions remain the same. You will receive nice rewards for completing progression stages. They include Days of World of Tanks premium account, bonds, keys to enter battle in the Blitztrager, unique crew members with special voiceovers, battles in the legendary Waffentrager Alf E100 tank destroyer in random battles, as well as Harriers and Engineers starters for activating their respective gates, which you can get when purchasing bundles with the event's visual elements. Engineers gates contain truly rare, valuable items. More battles in the Waffentrager Alf E100, assorted customization elements, including the Harrier's 3D styles, credits, personal reserves, demounting kits, crew books, as well as premium and special vehicles, including new and very rare ones. For example, the T3 Yaga, a Tier 9 sniper tank destroyer that compensates for its lack of armor with excellent mobility and an accurate gun. Or the special Object 283, a coveted Tier 9 medium tank that you know from Holiday Ops. It has excellent frontal armor, a gun with good damage per shot, and decent mobility. Just what a medium tank on the front line needs. Gates may also contain an interesting guest. The Yark's Tiger prototype. It's an assault tank destroyer with cabin armor that same tier vehicles can hardly penetrate, and a gun that can bite off as many as 490 hit points. If you don't receive a vehicle from 49 Engineers Gates, the 50th opening will guarantee you a vehicle that you don't have in your garage. If you want, you can also re-roll your reward for gold, which will also bring you closer to the guaranteed reward. The outcome of the future confrontation depends on you. Good luck on the battlefield.